Today we are going to show you the most dangerous places in our favorite holiday destination, Italy. We are starting off with Quarto Oggiaro, the poorest part of the fashion city Milan. The very old and high social housing buildings as well as the low living standard in this suburb makes it not the best place to live in Milan indeed. Next is La Corviale, in the capital of Italy, Rome. Here you can find the longest building in Europe, stretching to almost one kilometer. The building is extremely old and desperately waits for refurbishment. Many illegal immigrants from Africa and South America have settled here without permission nor papers. Parco Verde is a small town next to Naples in southern Italy. It is well known for its associations with the Mafia, the Camorra. The Camorra is present almost everywhere here and controls the plenty fabrics around here. Here, much of the fake designer clothing like Gucci, Louis Vuitton that gets sold on the beaches in Italy is produced here. Besides the Mafia, there is no real work here for these people. Zen is an abbreviation for Zona Espansione Nord in the suburb in Palermo, Sicily. The Cosa Nostra, the oldest mafia, is deeply rooted here and the many people that once worked in the industry here don't have a job today. Many companies moved from the south to the richer north for better workforce and the people here got left behind in these old and married social housing buildings. On first place we have Scampia. For many this is the most dangerous place in Europe since this is the ultimate hub of the Camorra and a jobless people account 70% of the population here. The buildings are left behind by the government, old and not livable anymore, and still many people suffer here every day, with the Mafia again as their only and last option. What is your opinion on these places? Have you ever been to Italy? And have you ever thought about such a sad reality here? Please like, comment and follow for the next part.